Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. The goddamn legend himself. Boosie Badass. Right. Boosie Boo. How you right. feeling this morning, Boosie? I'm feeling great. Uh, I woke up early, mm -hmm. smoked me a good one, and I like the scene of New York went early in the morning. Mm hmm with the trash cans and all that, and it, and it made oh, me God. get higher, actually. It made you feel like coming to America when Eddie was coming out in Queens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love me in New York. I can't, like, on, everywhere I go, they've been, Boosie, you standing up for us, and you know, like, like they got some real, I got, li I got some love out here. I tried to get your Instagram back, Boosie. I tried, man. I'm glad you did, because you saw, you saw, you, you saw that discrimination. Now, they made fun of me for flagging Kim Kardashian, hey. but I said, when I post my flyers, when I DJ the strip club, they take it down, flag and take it down. Bro, it was just me. I was doing too much. Well, I'm glad I you had didn't the admit world that, woke up. When the world was sleep, <laughs> when the world was sleep, I woke them up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And people, I think they just got tired of seeing me. Because you know, like, bro, like how my my Instagram was never taken. Mm -hmm. I never been I never been suspended. Mm -hmm. To be expelled forever? You know, so I wasn't feeling that. So I know it's a, you know, but I, you know, I got my opinions. I can, you know, I can say what I want, you know. I Not can, on them people's platform. Right. And That's they showed me. Yeah. They showed me. They showed me, you know. We Why got you don't go to fan, um, fan, 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 fan base? Uh, I got all kind of people trying to, mm -hmm. trying to, I got Chinese's, I got everybody trying to, you know, create me a. You got what kind of nieces? Chinese's. What's Chinese? Nieces? Chinese people. Oh, Chinese. Chinese. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I thought you was like, who nieces is trying to get with your pussy? I was like, Chinese what? people. <laughs> you know, I got people, you know, everywhere trying to make me an uncensored app, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm working on right now because... Fan base is black owned, you know what I'm saying? Isaac Hayes the third. You can go over there and turn up. Yeah, I, I, I talked to uh, I talked to Isaac Hayes. Okay, okay. I talked to the, uh, the son or whatever, but I ain't made no decision. I won't, I won't take everything. You got a bunch of endorsements, huh? Because even when you sat down, you was like, I don't want to sit sit with Envy Water because you got your own water. He didn't say Envy Water. He said, I want to sit with this water. And then <laughs> he, he said, Envy Water. He said, all right, all right you can leave yeah, it Yeah, man, I got, I got water, cologne, mm. chips, noodles. You name it, I do it. I, that's what I do. None of them get offended by the stuff you do? Uh, Well, once it's 50-50, uh, hey, what, you, what, what can you get offended by? You yeah. know, you, you invested in Boosie? And uh, I mean, we do, we doing good as I do good as an independent. I got a call following. Mm -hmm. Like I do real good, you know. Like in the Corona, I was getting checks, six, seven checks that ain't have nothing to do with rap. Mm -hmm. Do you think you do take it too far sometimes? Because you said I said I think I say it the wrong way sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean everything I say, and I say what I mean. But sometimes I feel like I, I say it the wrong way sometimes. But I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. And people need to understand that. You know, the world has an opinion, and then I got an opinion, and, and I'm just one who expressed my opinion. But last time we spoke, you said that your mama even told you stop volunteering your opinion for things that ain't got nothing yeah, to do with you. Yeah, about that Dwayne Wade. And you sat down with Mike Tyson and told Mike Tyson you should mind your business sometime, too. Why Why can't you just mind your because business sometime? Because I'm, I'm realer than what I'm supposed to do. What you mean? I'm realer. Like, I, like if, it's, if it's in my heart, mm -hmm. you know, just because I'm negotiated with him or... Uh, like that, that doesn't mean I won't say it because mm -hmm. I pay me. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't blackball me. I pay me. You know, uh, even even with my music, you know, like my last album, I drive with Connect Music Group, mm -hmm. you know, that I'm part owner of. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, you, you, it's hard to blackball me, you know, just like they got people, like they think they, they got millions of people love what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm a voice for people who can't speak. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just the only one <laughs> got the nuts to speak in this, in this, industry because everybody else is ran by you know the industry what about even saying like you would beat his ass so and i saw little nas x responded to that you think that's too far uh nah because uh i just be feeling like sometime i gotta speak up because you know uh, as far as straight people in the world you don't have an opinion no more on sexuality everything is harm if you say anything i'm straight i like women it's vulgar to. I don't you know, know that that's vulgar. That ain't true. But yes, yes. No, but yes. I just can't, can't, vulgar. You can't brag. You can't brag on. I just really think I think smashing that ain't true. On your sexuality, I don't no think more. It's ran by. It's ran by. 
Uzi they Rapper's LBGT been talking about was, fucking was, women was. forever in videos and they songs. That ain't changed. It, 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 I know it's a different day now. You can't. Just like the baby, like bro, like you know, like how many how many times you been on set, all y'all DJs, mm -hmm. and you heard somebody say, "If you ain't got AIDS, make noise in the whole club." Ah! Oh no, you're right. That's true. That's true. But it's a different time. No, it's a different time, mm -hmm. and because he's one of the biggest, you know. So they, they, you know, they try to make examples out of people, you know. So the next person who blow like this, you gonna go with this, and I feel you know they're attacking our children. You know, you make all the up, you make everybody support this. Who love these rappers? The kids? The kids. kids! Yeah, but you know, you I make, no, you make every rapper go with it. If every rapper go with it, I you, heard, you, I, you, I, grabbed, you grabbed that generation. I know I loved every rapper when I was little. Mm -hmm. I loved every rapper. You know what I'm saying? I try to copy what they did. You know what I'm saying? And, it's a new day now, and I just feel like, you know, they, they pushing it on our, our younger generation. Listen, I love rap. I love hip-hop. I love our culture. But, you know, I saw you say that, you know, you feel like he was a, is a negative influence. Why are we acting like rappers haven't been negative influences for years? Whether it's talking about murder, celebrating the drug culture, the gang culture, violence against women. Like, we just as negative. So how is he the person that you decide to point at and say, oh, you're ruining it for the kids? What have street rappers done to the kids? I really get offended when 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 it was like he was saying that he would go up there and perform naked in front, you know, all the shit, all the people. And I was like, damn, you know, all these straight people in the world, all these millions of kids gonna watch this and no straight rapper ain't gonna say, Hey, nah, nah, nigga, you ain't you know, nigga, we don't want you on that TV. Nobody's saw, I, not gonna, you know. Hey, yeah, like, I don't understand that logic, Boosie. I saw you say that uh, people be trying to be straight. How you try to be straight? If you're straight, you ain't gotta try to be. I don't get. Run who. it back again. <laughs> On the video, you said people trying to be straight. You said you said Lil Nas will dance in front of the men, and this you know these little boys trying to be straight. I'm like, how you try to be straight? No, I'm just saying as far as if you got your kids watching TV. Mm -hmm. Would you want, if you're trying to straight raise strong young black men, would you want, would you be cool with your kids sitting there watching it? Strong black men not going to be. Would you be cool with sitting there, your, if you're trying to raise that, and you, would you be cool and sitting there watching Nas X go up there and take his clothes off? What if age, what age we talking man, about? You're part of the problem. What age we talking about? Because I don't want my kids looking at anything sexual at a certain age. Yeah, at a certain age. But I once they get to a certain care. age, there's nothing man, wrong with girl, that. Girl, man, man, girl, girl. I want my kids. Because by the way, I'm just saying this is a national stage. This is a national stage. Man, Boozy, we grew up seeing worst images on TV. Man, we seen dudes on TV holding guns. Like I said, you know, celebrating violence, celebrating violence against women, the drug culture, right. the and, gang culture, and, like, and, and all this leads to my opinion. I don't like, get it. I, like I can, I can, if I feel that way, mm -hmm. I'ma say it. I respect, and you. I mean it. You right. know, like you may not feel that way, they may not feel that way, but I feel that way. Do you, do you feel like you've ever been a negative influence, for the kids? Yes, I've been a negative influence. Yeah, okay. but I, but but at the time I was, you know, I was so. You know, I'm just rapping my life. You know, I'm Oops. just, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't the rapper who rapped the movies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't go in there and rap the movies. I went and went in there and rapped about what happened that day to me, mm -hmm. rap about what happened that night to me. You know, so I never thought I was affecting the mm -hmm. culture until I came home and damn near all my friends was in dead or in jail. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I wasn't trying to affect the culture like that. As far as negativity, I was just writing my life stories. Don't you now, don't, now, let me question. Now, what about when you see an, an artist? You talked about rappers, like when you see, like Birdman and Lil Wayne kissing each other on the on, on the lips, or you see, you know, Turk talking about some of the stuff that they did, because it's, it's the same thing. Nah, nah, nah. Why not? Nah, nah. Uh, how them niggas rocking that city, you know. Uh, they really on some like some old mafia shit, you know, like like you know like them niggas, you know, them niggas get on them, them drugs, you know, like them niggas be, <laughs> them niggas different out there, you know what I'm saying? Like Baton Rouge, we ain't kissing nobody, 
You know, they ain't, they ain't never been down there, but I done seen niggas on, in the city, they different. New Orleans, they on some, they like on some mafia shit. They come from, you know, thinking they mafia made like the Marcellos and all that shit, you know, like they, you know, so I, I, I understand that. I, under, I understand that, you know. Because they under the same thing. If a kid sees that, they might not understand it and see their favorite rappers kissing each other and be like, okay. Right. Right. right you know? Right. Have, I just I, want you to leave them people alone, Boozy. I ain't leaving. I, 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 I ain't picking with you. nobody. Yes, like, I don't you have, are. I don't have, <laughs> yes, pro, I, I don't have. Leave people alone, Boozy. I don't have. They not bothering hey, you. Hey, 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 look. Hey, look, bro. Like, the people who so-called hate me in the LBGT community, like, I don't know them. Like, everybody who gay, who are in my life, my, my other assistant, a family member, mm -hmm. like our gay people, I have good relationships with them. You right, not, so you're not there. Out there, great. But you're not gonna, gonna tell. Bring... I know they tell you to stop. You know, but they tell so you to stop. Wanna... Do they tell you to stop? Nah, you lying. Nah, nah, real shit. They understand. All right, so let me ask you this: They for understand. Real? Like they understand. You do have gay they, people. They, they be like, I wonder. I wish people really knew that you don't. You know, have you know? Right, we saw that you took a picture with Flame Monroe. Who is yeah, trans. we was talking all downstairs. Mm -hmm. Right, so I want to ask you this because you do have gay people in your life. Do you feel like it is important to have that representation though? Because there are people who are just gay in this world. That's who they are and that's how they identify. And so to be able to see yourself represented on TV because for a child who knows that they're gay, it is difficult when anybody makes it seem like it's wrong or they can't see themselves in movies, in music. You don't think that's important too? Uh, I think that's important, but it, it goes the same way for the straight people. But there's plenty of straight representation. I think there's it's a not, lot it, more. This world is different. It's that not ain't plenty. true, man. There's way more straight. It's, it's representation. probably more. It's probably like like the rappers. Like just think of the look at the rappers. Hey, but my question: Why gay people like don't, like gay, this gay stuff is bigger than you listen, think? Why gay people don't turn they straight? Got a with lot all of gay rappers, probably. You know, like they. What about women on women? Do you mind that? Uh, not. I, I don't mind it as far as <laughs> marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Like I'm not gonna support if my my child, one of my child, was to marry a woman. I'm not gonna support that. You wouldn't you know? go to the wedding. You wouldn't say I love you anyway. I would tell her I love her, but I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't go to the wedding. But you like because, watching girls with girls listen, boozy? because you know we built. My family is built on legacy. You know, if I let that slide, that shit gonna slide from my son, from my grandson, and I'm gonna lay it down to where they gonna know that. You know, we, it, you know, I just that's think life is a lot harder for so people who are gay. Are, people are don't gay. just. You, you pretty much disowning them. I can't. You no, know. hell no. I'm going to love them to death, but I won't support marriage. I'm not giving my child away to another woman. So, you, you don't know, I would love her to death, you know, but I'm not. I don't, I don't, I don't want to start that. I, you know, a, 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 as me, I have the right to do that. As parents, we have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody parent different, but as parents. Once that child come out, you you make those decisions, and that's what the world need to need to know. Like, you know, you, Boozy, you're entitled. You're right. You're entitled to your opinion. The only thing I disagree with is the fact that you you say Lil Nas X is a super negative influence on the kids, and you said something earlier. You talked about you know when you came home, a lot of your fans was in jail, are are dead. So when you say things like you know you want to beat up Lil Nas X, you could possibly be encouraging violence against gay people, man. So that's nah, what I would tell you to watch. Nah, yeah, I wouldn't encourage not, because they like, are four times more likely. Gay people, but that's what I'm like, saying. So you should, so don't you even. Know, I just told you like gay people like gay people not after me in the real world. Like you know like this is just social media. The world did this. Gay people don't in the real world. You know they even have gay people at my concerts. Like all like bro like in the real world. You know people respect me for you know. Uh, Standing up, and they gon' and they gonna take me a long way in life, you know. I'm regardless if ain't nobody other rapper spoke about it, you know. Like, but I'm saying that you could singles be, you, me out. You could be encouraging violence against gay people. He even I'm said, "I'm not encouraging." I never said. I know. You said I'm you not, wanted to beat him up. No, for going up there and and you know he wants to say he wanted to get naked. And if I was there at the awards on the front row and he got naked right there. I would drag I don't him think off anybody should get naked at an award show. If a straight show. person got on the, on the stage naked, you would do the same thing. 
a straight person. If, a, if, if he wasn't gay, you saying a straight person got on stage, you would want yeah, to Yeah, fucking thing. right. If he got naked, I would fuck him up. You know, so be, it's not about being gay. Not don't about get naked gay. on an award stage. You don't get naked on a award with children? You want your children to see pussy? Come on, bro. So you feel like that about the women who go up there and do that too then? Who get naked on the... Uh, yeah. Or uh, who do get naked, dance sexually, do sexual stuff on stage? You ain't finna turn this around on those strippers on me. <laughs> you gonna have all the strippers, man. I need my strippers. I'm already, already trying to ban me. You know I need my strippers. No down talk on the strippers. Have they tried to ban you from shows and concerts like like you seen with the baby? Have they tried to with you? Uh, nah. You know, uh, my shows are even packer than ever. Like, you know. The, you can't ban me, like you know, like I'm not, I'm not part of those festivals that you can take me off. You know, I do my own festivals. I do a birthday bash in Mississippi. I'm throwing this year. I do my, my, my Boosie bash. You know, that's August 28 coming up, and I, you know, I, I make, I make crazy. Bro. You remember? You, I, we all remember that coke can in the video, the coke can in the shower video. Remember you did that? With yeah. The, did, did did the little Nas X video make you think of that situation? Did nah, make... nah, okay. nah, nah. That was just a situation with me, you know, coming to the pen and not knowing the rules, you know. Mm -hmm. So okay. I got I got I got I got my eyes bust just not knowing the rules. I just don't like to see brothers causing themselves unnecessary stress, and I don't like us causing unnecessary stress to people. That's all, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people are free to be who they are. Because, look, you have people in your life who are gay, people who work with you. You have family members. Right. And you have no problem taking pictures with people if they're gay. Right. So, what, right. so the thing that bothers you is the representation on television. Is that what it is? Yeah, television, really. Television bothers me. When I came home from jail, it bothered me. You know, I was like, God. You know, I was like, you know, it was, it was new to my eyes, you know, like, you know, like. If you don't, if you don't protect your kids, you know they're gonna be stirred that way. But in this day and age, they're gonna really be stirred that way. You know, if we, I just feel like we gotta, we gotta. I just feel were gay before. You know, but everybody wanna be. Everybody, everybody got the right to what they wanna be. If you wanna have your kids gay, you can have your kids gay. If you wanna protect your kids from being gay, you have that right. Well, I don't know that you wanna have your kids gay. It's just that if your kids are gay, they're just gay. Because okay. I do think life is harder for you if you are gay. Because there's a lot of four times the chance of violence more than the average person. And there's a lot of attacks on LGBTQ community. So I do think you make your life hardest. I don't think anybody's like, I just wanna be gay because I've seen it on TV. It's how you feel. Because I've seen, I've never kissed a woman. I've never done any of those things. And I see it all the time, but that doesn't mean I wanna do it. Because I think you have to feel like that's who you are to be able to relate to that. I don't think- Was you raised not to do it? I wasn't raised anyway, because I've been around, I'm from New York, so I've seen it all. And I have friends who are gay, I have friends who are trans, but it's never made me say, that's what I want to be. Okay, okay. You think people are born gay, or you think they... I don't know. He has no idea. I yeah. don't know. I don't, I don't. Not right. a gay, and you've I'm not seen a gay it too, and it doesn't make you want to I'm not say, a gay spologist or whatever, you know. <laughs> Do what? But you, you've seen a... <laughs> you know, a doctor who studied gay people. <laughs> what about I just made a new name. <laughs> what about, gay what spologist. About, uh, what about the Wee TV show? I heard you had a Wee TV show, but they, they, they pulled it. Uh, nah, I was I was doing a, um I was you know I was doing a reality show and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what happened to that show? I love that with show. The, with the stuff with Dwayne Wade came out. Uh, and they said because you uh you tried to pay a woman to sleep with your son or something. Nah, like that. it was just everywhere I went after that to shop the reality show, it was straight about that. So mm -hmm. I knew that this this industry right here is ran by those. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh. I turn to films, man, and I'm, I'm directing films. Mm -hmm. I got my biopic, best biopic you ever saw, mm -hmm. dropping September 24th on Vire streaming service. Mm -hmm. So, uh, man, I'm just, you know, I know, I, I know how to, I know how to wiggle, and you know. Now you do have me against thing. the world, Al. So you really feel like it is you against the world, the song? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because people, that's what social media did. You know, the gay people, the gay people on social media, you know. They seem to hate me, you know, they seem, but... You bought all that on yourself, the real, But the real people and the, the gay people, a lot of gay people in Atlanta, you know, like, they love me, like, they, you know, so I don't know if it's a real side and, a, and another side, an angry side, but the so gay people like I know got the best hearts. Like, it feels like it's personal I trust gay people more than... So if you're an oh, ally, so then if you're an ally, then you got to support them. The, 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 because it feels like you feel like there's something personal against you, 
from the gay community, but at the same time, you feel like they support you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's it's weird. It's just a whole. Yeah, the gay community, like they they support me, like you know, like in real life. Mm -hmm. I I never met the gays who see me and fuck. If you, I never met those, you know, like all the gay people I know enjoy my company and I enjoy their company. Well, how do we figure out how Boosie can support them? Let's 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 do that because you're saying you're an ally, but an ally comes with support. How can we mend these bridges? Uh, we just need to have our we need we need to have our as, as straight people as you know we need to have our point. We need to have our voice too. If you if you if you never let her have a voice. We gonna get ran down. Everything that come from our voice gonna get shuttered with, with you know, with with negative and ignorance. So you know, we as straight people, you know, we we gotta have a voice too. If you, if you keep taking away our voice, hey. What if somebody said, "Hey, man, every rapper that get on stage and rap about guns and drugs, I'm gonna pull them off the stage and beat their ass." I don't. I don't know. You steady trying to tie those two in, Charlemagne. But <laughs> no, I'm yes, saying, you are. No, because what you I'm steady trying to tie those. No, because I'm saying I don't want us to be hypocrites. Because we all can put out negative images at times. You know what I'm saying? I don't think one of us is is in a position to judge the other. Because you know, I don't right, think right. I don't, but you, but but you, 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 as a person, as a man, and a lot of these rappers ain't real men to speak about. You know how they feel. A lot of rappers feel like me. You know, but they call me. You know, they can't, they can't, dang, 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 they, they, these bowling ball nuts. Mm -hmm. You know, they call me Boosie, man. I'm so glad you saying, you know, they call me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I'm doing what a lot of people in the world, you know, see as positive, even though social media make it look as negative. You got a whole nother generation who older than us. 40s and 50s who absolutely love what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely feel I'm the last one left. You got OG rappers call me. I ain't gonna say no name, but like Boosie, nigga, you the last one left. You know what I'm saying? And realness is everything to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pinpointed. I'm not a puppet. I'm not, I can't feel a certain way and sit in, and sit in, and sit in the room and not say nothing because you gave me three hundred thousand dollars. You know, and and that's me, and I'm 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 gonna keep speaking up as far as, you know, how I feel. You know, you like you know. Boosie, do you think that there's people who's scared or intimidated that are gay but don't want to come out and let the world know because of how they'll be treated or how people will talk about them? Of course. Right. So. Of course. Yeah. So I, I that's why I'm saying I don't think it's a world yet where gay people have taken over. I feel like it's still difficult. What you think is percentage wise? I have no idea because I think there's a lot of people who haven't come out and who won't just because they're nervous. That's why people are DL. That's why people are doing things on the low and not telling anyone because they don't want to be judged and they don't want to be looked at a certain way. I'm just a fan of letting you do your thing. I'm going to do my thing. And that's it. You know, and I and I do want kids to have somebody to look up to. So if they're having feelings, they're not feeling like I'm a bad person because I'm gay or I'm suicidal. I don't want to live here because people are judging me for that. So I do feel like as role models, as representation, it's just important. But, you know, I do want to move on. And it's, the... Yeah, it's, it's important with the straight kids, too. Just think of yeah. two straight kids in a pack of four gay people. But I do think that there's plenty of representation for mm. everybody in this room. We got to fight for those, too. Why you, you don't know if everybody in this room? Well, you're right. We, you're right. I don't. Why? Well, yeah, you just say, yeah. You don't know that. <laughs> but I, I they know got eight that, people in this room. But nobody here has come out. So as far as I know, everybody in here. Everybody in this room. Is, is, we have an openly gay yeah, man, open, Joey, well, over there. Oh, sorry, I didn't see Joey. <laughs> you just ignore the openly sorry. gay man in here. Well, I'm looking this way. He's all the way on that side. <laughs> I didn't gracious. see him. Now, Boosie, you came to New York and you were yelling, Bobby Schmurda. Yeah, I'm trying to get them and take them back on the plane to Boosie Bash. <laughs> when is Boosie oh, Bash? August 20, August 27th August through 27. the 29th, but mm -hmm. his date is August 28th, and he gave me his word that he was going to do it. So. Wait, it's I didn't hear you week yelling early. Rihanna, though. I figured you'd be yelling Rihanna when you got to New York. Nah, man. I, I told y'all that's a fantasy, bro. Oh. Y'all kill that, bro. Well, you kept going with Everybody it. in this room, if you've been in the industry, you had a fantasy of somebody. Right. Everybody that had a fantasy of you saying, boy, they can get it. If, if 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 he if he came, I about give him some. 
Everybody, hey, yeah, you done had that fantasy. Everybody, you done had that fantasy. Hey, some, hey somebody gonna edit that. You done had, hey, they gonna you edit that. had that fantasy hey, hey, and something that came in, you like, <laughs> boy, I, boy, I, 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 I chew on that. Boosie, you they gonna edit you. Fantasy. They gonna edit you, Boosie, saying, he coming here right now, I'm gonna give him some. <laughs> they gonna edit <laughs> you saying that. They be like that. <laughs> they gonna edit you saying that. Check this wall out. <laughs> You got me drinking somebody else's water. I got my own alkaline. See so, this nigga working with. Can we talk about this bio? Can we talk about Whoa. this um, documentary, this biopic? Whoa, Boost. Oh, I got so, the best biopic so, ever. Talk about that. Let's get it's into that. It's the best biopic ever. <laughs> it's the best biopic ever. It's better than Get Rich or Die Trying. It's better than Tupac. It's the best biopic ever. All right, What's give it coming us, out? Give us some details. September 24th. Directed by me. Mm-hmm. Assisted, directed by Joe Spike. And, you know, I, I wanted to take it to all the big, big people, but everybody was trying to take it from me. And, right. you, ain't, you know, it was just like when I first went and got a record deal, you know, by me being my first time directing, my first time in New York, they was trying to just take my film. Mm-hmm. How long so did you I went shoot? with Vire Streaming Service, Black On. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so is it, getting... is it somebody playing you as like a young boy? Yeah, my son okay. plays me uh, when I'm little. I got mm-hmm. another dude play me, then I play me when I get older. Mm-hmm. So and it, I got another film dropping on Christmas Day too. Where does it start? So where does Flavor Flav? Where okay, we're gonna, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bro, P. Yeah. So where does Young Boosie? Where does this biopic start? It starts like, from my mama pregnant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mama pregnant. That's when it starts. It starts from birth. Okay. And what was so? What was that like? Like while your mom was pregnant when you were first born as a little. Oh, my daddy come in. You know, uh, asking where's effing money at? Woo the woo. She tell him. You know, I spent it on the bills because I knew you were gonna spend it on that shit. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's how I come on, and it it, it it go into my life, and you know, it's called my struggle. It's a great biopic. Okay. Do you talk about your your kids in there, like in your parenting? Because I, I see the way you parent. One time I seen your kids cutting all the grass because I guess they didn't do the chores they were supposed to. So you you, you no, they, it wasn't the chores. It was them out of throwing water on all my my engineer. You know, people people can't sleep. You know, just. Just, you know, oh, kids are pranking them. terrorizing. Yeah, grown men, like, got grown men. You know, these people work for me. Mm-hmm. You know, and these people come to me scared to go to sleep. And, you know, like, hell nah. It's got to stop. So, you know, you walk the line. I saw they pranked you. Too, and I saw they pranked you like they had um, messed up your laptop or something like that. Yeah, they all, but, <laughs> but I be having to stand up to my kids because sometimes my kids get too loose. <laughs> what you mean stand up to your kids? <laughs> yeah, sometimes my kids get too loose. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, they get too loose. They, you know, like my son, he... He think he can try you? How old is he now? now? It's been two days of school. How old is he now? Uh, he's 10 or 11. Oh, yeah, so he at the age where he might he yeah, might he try to try that. the second day of school, so he up here with me and I'm... I'm that's not a suspension here. for real. He out here well, chilling that's with you. that's my suspension. He he not gonna sit at the estate. Right. So he with me. He, he gonna he gonna carry the bags. He gonna carry <laughs> three bags <laughs> through the <laughs> airport. You know he gonna work every time. Like you know you got you gotta. Are your kids celebrities in school? Are they like young celebrities? Yeah. Is that the reason why you get in a fight? Because somebody making fun of him? Because what what what? Daddy because did? you know he's the star on this movie and he's the star on the next movie too. Where's mm-hmm. MJ? So I just think he gonna have problems as far as. I just think he gonna have problems, and he, you know, he ain't, he ain't high temper, but he, he just really ain't gonna let nobody play with him, like, like. Did, did child services anybody try to fuck with you when you um, what, was was had the girl on him? Uh, nah, 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 nah. Mm-mm. And when you nah, do- that was my other son. That was my sixteen year old. Sixteen year old, okay, okay. Yeah, he eighteen. Nah. And when you do those parties at your house and you invite everybody to land and they got kids, how many people come to that to, to your house? Uh, if I do a, uh, I seen one time you said if you got about today's, I, I guess your daughter's birthday, son's birthday, you was like, oh my 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 four year, my four year, like, yeah, yeah uh, you know I just sent a, send a van to the ghetto spots like old national, you know tell people to pull up, you know, to go to thug of them hood, tell where it's ratchet, mm-hmm. tell people to pull up and you know bring them to bring them to the house and let them play and let them enjoy themselves. That's dope. Yeah, big dog stuff. Yeah, yeah. So what's that movie coming out Christmas for in December? Where's MJ? It's something what like that. The, Where's MJ? It's a it's a film about uh, it's something like the Home Alone. Mm-hmm. But it's it's, it's way better. Uh, Desert Banks and Grove Hero. You know they the crooks. Flavor Flav in the movie. I okay. can't tell you his role. So y'all got tight now, huh? After all. yeah, yeah, that's my boy now. <laughs> Did you ever think y'all looked alike before people started saying? <laughs> uh, 
it started flowing through my head how many people was telling me. You know, mm-hmm. they been telling me that since mm-hmm. I started rapping. So I done looked at the picture a couple of times like, you think hell nah, you think like nah. You? Nah, man, you know, I think on certain pictures, you know, they can put it together. You know, I don't look good on pictures, but, you know, when I get in front of a bitch, I'm going to make a whip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm nice looking in person. I'm ugly on camera. My my eyes all, but when I get up on you, you know, I'm, I'm pretty handsome. That's what my mama said. I, I heard somebody say that this morning, man. You know who said that? Who? Flame. Oh, Flame. Yeah. Hey, Flame. <laughs> Flame said that this oh, morning. Oh, we was running it down yeah. there. Flame, Flame did Flame. say that. Flame she was but... running it down she there. She's a super fan. Yeah, she, 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 I feel like she understand me. Like, she... She said, oh, I love Boosie. Flame different, though. Flame, you understand Boosie? I do. Flame also didn't know you were so small. She was like, I didn't know he was so small. But oh, I yeah. knew he was smart. Isn't your mother like a teacher or something? Yeah. I knew you were smart. You, and I, I know just some of your rhetoric. I hear the intelligence. We were just talking about what kind of dad he represents, that we need to see that from different capacities, from black men, because all black men don't raise their children the same. You know, that don't mean that there's love missing or that there is time missing. He just does it a different way. But, you know, I'm a fan of Boosie. When I was a girl way back, that was my type right there. But that was way back. See, well, I would never disrespect Why you blushing, Boosie? Wait a minute, no, 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 Boosie, why, no, no, why you wait, blushing? No, wait, Look at Boosie. <laughs> but let me be honest, because I would never put, like, put, like, put him in a, in a place to make him feel uncomfortable. See, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because when I come here, I don't make men feel uncomfortable. Whatever you want to play, you want to play, men play. But that's on them. I yeah. would never push up on somebody else. But, see, I'm sitting next to Envy. I'm not pushing up on him. Plus, he too light-skinned. He on this red-ass nigga. Uh, wait. <laughs> how, do we, how do we mend the bridge between Boosie and the LGBTQ we community? We have to... Plan? We just have to talk to each other and listen and not listen to hear the four or five words that make you the trigger words. You have mm-hmm. to listen to respond to teach the other person. I'm not I don't think that he's out of source of what he says. And I don't I don't disagree with completely with what he said about uh, Lil Nas X. But Lil Nas X is gay. So the hypocrisy would be if he was on the BET Awards and he was kissing on a woman and he's openly gay. Then people would be offended and say, well, why he kissing on that woman? Y'all know he gay. Then he goes to the DL. You cannot win for losing because everybody is all er- everywhere. Everybody's mm-hmm. so displaced. What he was saying was not, I don't want my kids to see inappropriate things that they watch on TV. But I don't agree with what he said about you, 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 you around gay. I'm completely transgender. My son is completely straight. He goes to TSU. He's mm-hmm. straight. And that's not because I raised him to live like me. I told him, you live your life and be whoever you Now, if he would have turned out to be gay, he would have just been gay. I wasn't going to love him no less because you have to, like, even with Angela standing with her daughter, with the trans daughter, you have to put it in a place as a parent, do I love my child more than I hate what they have become? Because you have no control over what your kid is going to become. They had no control over, your mom had no control over what you were going to become. So you have to remove all of what you want your kid to be and just see the love that you have. Like so, like when you said, if your daughter married another woman, right. I think you feel like that now, Boosie, but I think if your daughter did fall in love with a woman, and I know she's straight, but if she actually did, I think that you would realize But I, I still, as more. a parent, have the right to, I, sh- right. even if they're, I have the right to strive them the way that I want you them can't to try the them. I can try the heart, as a every parent. Every parent is different. Like you can't tell a parent, another parent who's parenting the child to how he can parent that child. You can just tell them only from your experience. Mm-hmm. Well, Flame, well, Flame, saying, though, yeah, Flame not saying you're wrong. Yeah, She's just saying that your wrong. daughter, if that's what your daughter's into, regardless. that's what your daughter's into. And you're not going to you know lose I mean? the love for your daughter. Even if she was to become a lesbian, you still I just, love I told him yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I said, said that. But you, but you, you just said you wouldn't go to the wedding. I said I wouldn't lose. But I think that that I wouldn't lose no love for her at all. Like, you know, I wouldn't lose no love for her, but I wouldn't want that to be a... Ongoing thing in my in my. Boosie, I think you're friend. a genuine well, parent. I, I think you would. Want my son to be Boosie not a bad guy. That's right. what. That, yeah, that's Boosie is. That's Boosie's why I not a bad up guy. A lot of this and I'm gonna say this. What? I believe you would still go to that wedding if she came to you yeah. and was but like, "Daddy, I need you, you there." What you Flame just said, "I wouldn't want my children to be gay." I wouldn't want my children to be gay. It's, it's a harder life. Tough life. Yeah. I live this life. I'm 56. I've lived this life 12 times. I would not want my children to be gay, but you have no right. So as a kids. parent, why we can protect our well, children you, you, but you from can't that. Change their mind or their heart. Mm-hmm. Right? You just said you wouldn't want your child. Nobody would like, but I'm just saying, like, well, we as a parent, we can fight. We but have the as a, you as a, a parent, choice. you have the choice to fight. Am so I right? You I just, you know what? I feel like this better. As all a the- parent, do you have the choice to make your child want? A man and a woman? You no, can't. No, I don't you have don't. don't have that choice. We don't have that choice. You anymore. got a preference. Yeah. But you can't. You can say, you, you can't I don't want that to happen. But yes, at, but, you, you but can tell you your child that. I don't want that to happen. Like, you 
You just can't, a child, you just, just because she's a, a child is a child, you just can't say if she say something, you got to go with it. Hey, Boozy, no, think about you th don't. Hey, think about you're all a parent and that's Boosie, a child. Hey, like but think about all the things. We're losing the parent and the child. But Boozy, listen, think about all the things. Y'all child before the parent. Think about all the things that your parents told you not to do as a Man. kid. I bet you did every single one of them. I'm just saying, bro. We oh. putting a child. <laughs> Boosie, listen. <laughs> you're not <laughs> Does a child mean more? Opinion means more than a parent. It's not an opinion is an opinion, and you can say just like Flame said, I don't want my child to be just like you said, but you can't. You don't control, have an opinion, you but you can't control it. Man, parents don't want their kids to be drug dealers. Right. They don't want their kids right. to be shooters. Right, they don't want and we kids have, and we uh, yes, and we have that choice to. I'm sure to, my parents didn't. Did your did. mama tell you not to be a gangster, That's not right. to be a robber? Well, I don't, and you didn't to, listen. None of us listened. You know, like my hey. mom. I'm sure my parents didn't want me to lose my virginity when I did. I'm sure they would have been like, "Don't Lord do that until I have until I get married or something." But they didn't really have any control if that's what I wanted to do. That's but your parents still tried to steer you the right way, right? But it won't change. The so, whole I, so we gonna take all the we gonna take all the strength from the parents in the world. No, I'm nobody. That's saying, really gonna make it a new world. Nobody's saying that, Boosie. Yes, you are. But like, no. when your child saying, leaves and goes to college, you're saying what can that, you do? You're saying that. We're gonna take all the strength from the parents. No, we're saying a child saying gonna do what a child, child gonna do. If a child comes to you and say this and that, you just gotta go with it. That's what you're basically saying. I'm an intelligent person. That's what you're basically saying. And I'm not with that. I got a child. I got the right to stand up for my child. Flame, if you're a lot of times the kids go through a lot of experiences. Like I got, I got that right. They just I'm every other man. New. Every other person who feels like me has that right. You can't take that right away from. Straight people, people who feel their opinions on straight. You can't bash us how we feel. Well, no, I don't think anybody's bashing like Flame. If your parents told you we don't yeah, want I you get to be bashed. trans, then... and, but but they they only they only I'll come at y'all when y'all say something about them though. Right, <laughs> I'm free. I do what I want to do. Well, I, I do I do I do, oh, do want to ask Boosie, why, why? How come gay people don't become straight based off all the imagery they see in the world? We don't know. We don't we don't know what's going on. Like <laughs> you like you just said, ain't nobody gay in this room. Then you look back and you saw somebody gay. Yeah, like, we, we don't know. It's it, it, it's a and mystery. We Charlie. don't know if all these people hate me. So gay Because people. I get the love. We don't know. It's social media fucked this world up. Yeah, we don't know that. Y'all don't know if they hate me like that. I, That's true. That's that could be one know, person yeah, spamming a billion times. Right. That's true. That's true. Right, but, I, you know, I just feel like we have a difference in opinion. I just feel like let well, you people... agree to disagree. Yeah, I just want Boozy all. to leave people alone. Right, right, right. I, I understand. understand. <laughs> I understand. Because people ain't bothering you, Boozy. I, know, I want y'all want me to be quiet. Y'all want me to leave. No, we don't want, want you to, to be, be quiet. But you're not going to get your point. But we across. want you to. Oh, we don't but want what you're, you're saying not to getting overshadow. Your point across. I, I feel but, it. I feel you. But I can't sit in. I'm a real person. I just can't be quiet because. You told me be quiet about a situation that I feel that's means to me. Right. Well, we've heard you speak on but, it. But you know, this like Boosie's feelings. This is, this how, is feelings. This how I feel. And you can't say if Boosie, anybody Boosie think they can come. Boosie, that's how he feels. Talk to me about not talking. No, that's it would never happen. I'm, I'm listening. That's I, my feeling. I understand Boosie's feelings. opinion. I just, just like y'all speaking for a whole community. I'm speaking for no, I, I'm not speaking for nobody. I'm yeah, just look, for I'm just observing the situation. I just think it's well the world, the other yeah. world. Who's but, speaking for? The, I'm just, speaking for a billion but people. But both sides, but, here are all three sides. That's right. And, and he and he feels like this. That's but what I, it is. I just think this, I just think it's true. Like I, I can't apologize for something I believe in. I now, Boosie, what about three? Let's talk about threesomes for a second. No, hold on one second. I just think it's hypocrite. I just think it's hypocritical for street rappers to do that to somebody else because that used to happen to street rappers forever. Forever they were saying hip hop was a negative influence. Because of the things we rapped about, so for you to point at Lil Nas X and say, oh, "Nah, so you the negative." So you're saying it's, it's just daytime. That what you saying? What do you mean? You saying like, as far as the, it's just daytime? No, I'm just saying it's hypocritical for street rappers to point at another rapper and say they being negative well, for how they put their lifestyle. Times because that happened to us so much. Because all this wouldn't be going on when Pac and Biggie didn't was here. Come on, let's keep it. No, right. they used to get. They used to get. But you know, I don't, I'm the only one time. speaking up. If Pac was here, he would have said something. I doubt it. Yes, he would. Well, we don't. Pac know. would have said something. So, hmm. Boosie, let's can we talk about threesomes for a second? You and two women. Pac would have said something. And he I wouldn't let me be getting and dragged I don't think like this by sexuality. myself. Sexuality. I wouldn't be getting dragged like this by myself. <laughs> two Pac would have said something. I don't think. Inf I don't think. Uh, I feel that in my heart. Sexuality and crime trouble. is two different things to me. It is two different. And like, we got rappers that have been out here promoting straight up crime that have been getting people locked up foul. and killed. Kids followed them. A lot you know of yeah, yeah, people. that's what I was saying. But and we don't point the finger at each other and say we were all of a sudden. But what? listen, listen, let me tell you this. Why I is your mask on now? Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. 
it doesn't matter, bro. Everybody got an opinion. You can't shit somebody up on their opinion just because you right. don't agree with the opinion yeah, absolutely and right. how it was said. Right. But you're gonna we, so, but you're gonna get this though. He's gonna have people that disagree, and you're gonna have to argue your point. Right, right, that's all. Right, 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 right. And then I, I do, I do, I do it to a T. I face anybody. <laughs> I face Breakfast Club, Mike Tyson, Mike, anybody. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go because I'm real with me. Like you know, like a lot of people not real with them. You can't say you're a real nigga. You got 10, 20, 30 million, and you can't speak on how you feel. No, you are artist. But controlled you, by so let's just say this. Other you, people. You don't you hate know? gay people. No, I just told he my assistant is gay. Yes. Yes. Gay people have built a whole. I can trust a gay person before I trust a anybody. Yes. Yes. Before I trust a shooter, anybody. Gay people don't even steal like that. Like what? <laughs> what? No way. God damn. Wait a minute. What the? That was hilarious. Oh my god. You don't steal like that. I don't steal a damn thing. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> leave a leave a straight leave leave somebody oh, regular around you, shit. Oh man. And leave a gay person. I'm telling you, bro. I'd have been. I, when I'm he first telling you. Into the green oh, room for us to be testing. And I said, "Oh, I'm fanning out. I'm a big boosty fan." He, you are, he knew I wasn't a woman. I wasn't even dressed like this. I had on my jogging suit. And he was like, what's up? Let's take a picture. He was very calm, very chill. I'm not, was, bro. He's not a bad person, no man. I've been, I there did five years in prison. <laughs> <laughs> around gay people, like, bro, like, prison, bro, you don't understand, bro. Like, I don't have <laughs> nothing against gay people. I have problems with what they doing to the... You think it's an agenda being pushed? Yeah, it's, it's, you you know it's an agenda being but it's, pushed. It's been, it was, you just can't talk about it because you won't hear. Just so it was a crime agenda too. It was a murder agenda too amongst the black community. Yeah, we it, go. It was a drug Boosie dealing agenda too. Yeah, I'm just saying, Boosie. Well, we 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 know that. Okay, though. it was okay, but now it's now it's more of a uh, now it's more of that agenda, and uh, it's not a, it's not more of a crime agenda now because back you know now people rappers not really rapping about spinning like they used to. It's more about drugs now. Yeah, you know, so, that's, so that's, under, an, that's an agenda being pushed. It's the, it's yeah, the fiend I, culture. I come up under cash money when it, mm -hmm. all the youngsters wanted money. Everybody right. was rapping about money. The locks, nigga, everybody had money. You know what I'm saying? It's a different culture now. Most people, you know, they it's a drug culture. Moment. That's right. And you don't want no violence against gay people either. No, hell no, I don't want no violence against gay people. You know what I mean, get, bro? Like, like, I don't want nothing, no violence against gay people. I can't beef with a. I'm boosted. Mm -hmm. I can't beef with a gay person. I beef with real steppers mm -hmm. who everybody's scared of. Them. I'm the only people I like to beef with. Cause I don't know if you saw. I saw Lil Nas X say that. You know, he felt he didn't want to talk about anything going on in hip hop because he felt it was like a danger to him. So he hired security because of everything that he's seeing on social media about him. Oh, okay. Well, well tell him he can let go of security. Boosted don't want to do you nothing, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't want to do nothing. I just say if I was, even if he went on there in the awards, I couldn't do nothing if I was at home because I'm not going to be at no awards anyway. You know what I'm saying? But if I was present at the awards, that's why I said that. But, you know, I ain't got no, Nas nah, X don't need no security, especially not for me, bro, you know. That, that you know, I, I got a reputation and legacy to hold up. What I look mm -hmm. like beefing with a you do bro. a song with Nas X? Nah, nah. Uh. Man, Boosie, you about money. Nah, I wouldn't do a song with him, you know, especially I didn't, you know, I didn't win that dude. Like, I don't. Oh, I get what she's saying. You know, like, what if y'all made peace? I, I done did, I do hundreds of features. You know, I don't know if they gay or not. Mm -hmm. I can't say I did a hundred features with people who ain't gay. Right. In this industry. But you do realize like, you don't know who buying your water either. You don't know who buying your cologne. You don't right. know who buying your chips. Right, right. It could but, be people but, of all sexualities. But you know what? There. You know what? Now, after all this is said and done, I'm going to stand up victorious. You know, I'm going to stand up victorious because I was the only one gave a gave a, gave a shit, you know, for a million other people. You know, uh, everywhere I go, every, everywhere I go in the airport, it's the older people. You know, they, Boosie, I'm Boosie, I'm watching you now. You know, like, and I'm speaking, I'm, I'm just speaking how I feel. Most of the older people see it differently, that's why. I tell you. Hell yeah, they see it differently. They see it differently. They, see, they feel like, like, they like Boosie. You bet not shut up. Mm -hmm. Why they telling me you need to be quiet? Why y'all... You bet not shut up. You know, I love what you see. It's wrong. It, you know, they got people who feel like me. And it's an opinion across the world. All and right, that's so their opinion. Back to the question I've been trying to ask. Run it. About threesomes. Run it. So you don't have a problem. Do you have a problem with being with two women at the same time? I haven't been with six women at once. Okay, so it's okay for them to be, like, kissing each other, eating each other out and stuff? 
You know that's gay. It's a it's a threesome. Like it's it, that's, that's gay, that's Boosie. That's what you do. So it's okay. So that's fine. I just told you if if, if, if I just okay. told you before that I say if girls want to play, mm -hmm. it's all I just told you that when we were start say if the, but marriage, you know, girls gonna play. Girls gonna play like th th that's all a part of. But marriage, I'm not gonna agree with my daughter marrying a woman. Okay. You know, I'm not. You know, even though I have threesomes and things, that's part of. That's part what of the lifestyle. What if it was two married women who were fly as fuck? And I don't they... fuck with married women. I ask a woman. But I don't even. I don't date. But they them. wanted I don't to bring you number. in. That's the. That's because nigga gonna kill you behind their wife. No, no, I'm saying married <laughs> to each other. Two women married <laughs> to each other. Two women married. And they were like, Pussy, come on. No, I asked a woman, "Are you married?" Before I even, before even, if she say, "I walk away," and tell her, "Congratulate." I don't play with a man. Niggas will kill you by their girl. But a wife is a different. Wife is yeah, yeah. A wife is different. I agree. You know. So. <laughs> Would you get married? Are you thinking about that? Uh, I don't want to get married. Ever? You know? Nah, I don't want to get married. Why is that? Because I, I probably, I'm probably because I'm so torn. What I've seen through marriages my whole life, and I don't want to be. I don't want to be that. You know, and I make. I got successful by myself. You know, I didn't get no. I ain't nobody give me nothing. Right. I didn't tag on to a woman. I didn't tag on to a n nothing. You know, I got this out the mud, you know, and I, and, I, and I feel a certain way, you know, that's why the, when I do get a woman, I like her to cater to me. Mm -hmm. I just love a woman to just iron my clothes, run my, you know, because I feel I'm a king. And, you know, and I can have two, three women, you know, like, so I don't, I'm, I'm afraid of marriage. I'm going to say I'm afraid of marriage. Because, you know, you probably couldn't be faithful to one woman. Yeah, I'm not going to be. But if a woman might be okay with that. Some people are. Some people might be like... Nah, if you deal with me, you're going to have to deal with a woman at a certain time. You so know? you're going to make a woman gay? <laughs> you're going to have to deal like... like <laughs> just say, just check this out. If we get to a point we rock in two, three months, you know, and I and I want another <laughs> woman, I'm the type going to tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to try to go behind yeah, your yeah, back, yeah, yeah. you know, because this bitch a bad bitch and she got... Her status up too, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm gonna basically tell you, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna fuck her. We can fuck her together, you know. And and it's it's a better understanding like that. But, but then you sneaking and geeking, mm -hmm. woo de woo, you know what I'm saying. So I <laughs> flame said that's hot. <laughs> well, you say flame. 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 flame because now can honest. the two women that's hook honest. up without you? Huh? Like, that's, that's, can that's the two the women hook up if you're not around? Yeah, yeah, because okay. it's always in my mind. I put that together. <laughs> I had two girlfriends for eight, nine months. Mm -hmm. Damn near living with me. And then what happened? Nate, what happened? Uh, I just it just got got worn out. Bro. I just felt like they they loved me more than I than they loved each now, other. Then let me ask you a question, Boosie. Right? They didn't love each other like they loved me. You got them in the house. Your daughter's in the house, and your daughter sees that. So your daughter thinks, oh, that's okay. nah. My daughter ain't never see this. My daughter oh, okay. ain't never see this. I okay. keep I keep everything from yeah. my my daughter. Don't even know I. They other women. She think I'm still with her mama. Oh my okay. god! Oh, your daughter. She's five years old. Oh, come here, okay. exactly. Come on. You know, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm a king. I like to be a king to my children. Nah. You know, I don't. I'm not gonna bring different women, and my daughter seeing that. You do know, because like she gonna think that it's okay. Th that it's okay that the nigga she get can do that to her. Right. So you know, I, I, my daughter think you know until they get that age where. You know, they can read and, and Google. Think, Google. But my daughter in kindergarten right now, she think I'm, you know, she don't know that she don't she don't know what's going on. Boy, what, if, what if she pull up some old boosie videos later on in life and see two that's girls keep, kissing and then, and, and then she get influenced. <laughs> then she get influenced to want to kiss Once a girl. Once they get that phone, it's over. It's over. It's that's over. Right? Mm -hmm. Like my son, like, you know, I, my son, he, he 11. You know, he got a phone. I went in his phone the other day. Mm -hmm. Porn. Five out of eight. I say, nigga, you worse than me. <laughs> Five out of eight. But I was proud of my son. He looking at pussy. You know, he, oh, I was proud Lord of my son. What porn was he watching, Boosie? Man, he was watching some white girls. He was watching him, a black dude having threesome with two white girls. I'm like, damn, this little nigga here, you know, I, I got on his ass, fussed at him, but I was kind of proud. You know? <laughs> do you regret I told him, what the fuck? I said, you got a fucking problem. All you want to do is look at white girls naked. I got on his ass for that after that out. You didn't say you got a problem with you watching porn. You just said you got a problem with you watching white I, No, too much porn. Oh, okay. If you have four or five out of eight, come on, you supposed to have one, two out of eight. And so I got on him, you know, like. But he at that age, he 11 years old, he finna, 
Does that know? make you sexist as a dad because you talk about your daughter? So you, you if your son smashing all the little girls in the world, you right? Yeah, I'm a sexist. But as yeah. a woman, yeah. you'd be like, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah you right. You got, got me. You got me right. So I'm, I'm, I'm sexist as a dad. That. I'm sexist like that too. Because yeah. I think about my son smashing all the little girls in Long Beach. I'm with it. But yeah. if I think about my daughter, whose birthday is today, happy birthday, is it passed now? Then I'm fucked up. Like, girl, don't yeah. do that. So yeah, we, I, I am. we, we, I don't even know as dads or black men that we'll ever get across that point because. We hold our daughters in such high regard, even though we don't right. shit. We mm-hmm. right. other girls. Mm-hmm. But we let our son, nigga, go get it, get it, get it, get it. But yeah. doesn't it scare you that your son could get a bunch of different women pregnant at it once, too? Because that's something. Not a girl talking about she's pregnant with twins? No. I what? think they like. Yeah. From, from your son? son? From your yeah, 18 year I ain't going. I ain't finna be no damn grandpa. Yes, you are. You grandpa are Boo. At some point. This shit been worrying <laughs> me for the last. I don't think she pregnant. I think they lying. Her and the mama trying to get my son. Yeah, I'm going to tell it. How many months she is? I'm going to tell I don't know. How, I, I, I think she photo shit lying. They been trying to get my son since he was 10. No. Yeah, she did a video way back with him. Oh. She was 11 years old. She had 13-inch weave in her house. She been trying to get my son. Is she black or white? Black. How old is she? They the same age, 17, 18. And she saying she pregnant right now? Man, that's what I'm... Bro, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you brought it you up. just said you I'm gonna talk up. about Kill it. it. I get I get angry. I get you. I get you. Boo, I'm, you I'm not having it, bro. You ever I'm, thought about going to therapy? For what? I feel I'm perfectly stable. Oh my God. <laughs> I can talk when I want to talk. I can do whatever I want to do. I raise my kid like I want. I'm perfectly stable. Nobody's remoting me. I'm stable. If I go to the th- if I go to therapy, what they gonna do? Remote me. They gonna make me be that? quiet. What they gonna remote, 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 mute, you? remote, like mute, mute him, put the volume mute down. you, mute okay. him, yeah. <laughs> volume. And they gonna talk over me. I don't let nobody talk over me. When I'm in a room, when I'm in a business deal, nobody gonna talk over me because you know why? They're smarter than me. You know I don't know these contracts like this. I don't let people talk over me because if you talk over you, you know what they gonna do? Belittle you. Well, how many how many movies have you directed? Mm-hmm. Uh, who is the uh, sound guy? Did you get anybody from um, a A-lister in the film? No. So I'm 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 a control the room. Everywhere I go, you're not gonna talk over me. If you say I don't got this, well, why I'm here? That's me. Now, Boosie, why did you think that we didn't want to have you up here on the Breakfast Club? No, I was I was fishing. Okay. You know, you know. I knew, come on, I knew, you know. You always got to open in. Right? I do numbers, man. <laughs> I do numbers. Nobody want to see nobody else on the interview. <laughs> man, I do numbers. Man, I say fly me in, man. Y'all letting everybody talk over me. Y'all saw that discrimination on that white boy face, man. No, Come on, you, you got him right. I was so proud of you. But you said DJ Inv- I, I was running around now. I say DJ Inv- boy, I'm proud of you. But you said you, <laughs> you said, got it all. But man. you said Instagram. You say you be wilding on Instagram, <laughs> no Boosie. You know they got rules and regulations over there. They got rules, regulations, and discrimination for black and brown. A white girl can be up there like this. You can take her pay there, give it to her a hundred times. How you pop that shit so good just now, Boosie? Celebrities, Boosie, do that. Kim Kardashian can do whatever she wants. But that as soon like, as Boosie do something, <laughs> and they ain't doing nothing but twerking, girls can't twerk. They, ain't, they You act like they buck naked. They twerking. You know why? Because they're not being seen. You know, that, that's how I feel, you know. We took over. In the corona, African-Americans, we took over the social media platform. Mm-hmm. You didn't see nobody Caucasian. I'm sorry. I'm not racist. I'm righteous. You didn't see nobody. We took over. And I think he got tired of seeing us, you know, and you know, and we capitalizing off it. And they know we capitalizing off of Instagram. We making millions off of Instagram. And they just, you know, they got the power to show you that they can stop you. If you could say something to Adam right now, what would you say? Give me my Instagram back and be fair. You know, I would tell him be fair. How many celebrities Instagram took have you gave it back? I could, I, I, I could name a million. You never gave me mine back. Mm-hmm. And I posted a girl on the piano with the emojis around her. You know, this shows discrimination. You give her her page back three days later. You never give me my page back. My page wasn't never taken. I never been in suspension. Yeah, to, I, now I'm expelled. You take 10.5 million followers from me. You know, I got, I'm, I'm plugged in with Caucasian businesses with these kind of numbers. You affect me. So if people say I ain't got the right to talk, they got me fucked up. I'm going to speak about this. Do you regret anything you ever did on social media? Nah. Because I always see they come at you for, for putting that, that woman on your son. 
Uh, not 16 years old, bro. Like, you know, like, I'm going I'm 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 gonna try to lean my son that way at 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? My son's already, but that's what I feel as a father. That's what I want to do. You know, I want to lean my son this way because if he sit from four to four to 13 and watch cartoons, he might be stirred the other way. You know, so I gotta, I gotta be. You know, I I, I put my kids, I raise them from my boy, especially my boy. I raise them from eight, nine. To, you know, they already. <laughs> they read it, you know, like. But well, Boosie, we appreciate you Boosie. for joining us and having this conversation. Man, Boosie. I have one more question I wanted What's to the ask. Question? That was a topic the other day up here on The Breakfast Club. Envy and Charlemagne were discussing something that Turk said about how every guy plays gay games. And then they said they were talking about the games that they played. Did you see that interview that he did with Vlad? Nah. So what he was talking about? He was saying that every guy plays gay games. And, you know, Charlamagne and Envy have played some gay games up here on The Breakfast Club. Is it true that every guy, because I was hearing now explain things. explain what gay games are. I want our gay games. <laughs> explain what gay games Keep drinking that water, you find out. Keep <laughs> <laughs> drinking that water. <laughs> what the fuck y'all got going on? Y'all got gay water in this motherfucker? Y'all got gay water in this motherfucker? Baby, get in the gay water. Oh, shit. They trying to take the straight crowd out, <laughs> I'm done with y'all, man. It's Boosie. Oh, you know how they explain it? Like they get in the um, they get in the door together and they go in the little revolving door. No, it's not, door. man. No, he didn't. <laughs> what? What kind of gay games y'all playing up here? Doing. He bought me an ass, Boosie. <laughs> an ass. A mold of his ass. As a joke, he bought me a mold of his ass. Don't you judge. You ass. bought your son some ass. <laughs> Uh, you bought a mold of his ass? No, I didn't. It was gave me a mold of his ass. Uh, I gave Sean, I don't I you gave judge me. Bro. I don't you judge me, bro. Oh, you gonna make me judge. That's why you owe me like this. <laughs> no, it's not. Let me find out. <laughs> Let me find out, Charlamagne. Leave these back. people alone. That's all, you man. You gave it back? I gave it back. After you put his finger in it. <laughs> It's on video. I'll show you the video in there if you're over, Boosie. It's Boosie Badass. It's the breakfast. He still love y'all, though.